What's up guys? So I wanted to make a video here regarding thoughts on dieting and during this holiday season. It was something I actually thought a while ago and it was when hearing people, you know, like my parents when I was younger, um, anybody who's been trying to lose weight and just noticing that they would have to watch everything that they ate and the power I think that comes when you have the knowledge of how this stuff works and how liberating it can be. Because a lot of people actually, I had an employee today who was saying, oh man, I just can't stand those people who just do chicken and rice as if, I don't know, for whatever reason, chicken and rice just set off a nerve. But for those people, they think, how do these people track their food all the time? And that must be so annoying to have to do that all the time. And I'm not saying that you should be tracking your food all the time, but I will say that when you do it and you get comfortable understanding calories and food portions and things like that, you just have a freedom that comes with that. And what I mean is the average person who is maybe 10, 15, 20 pounds overweight, they're kind of in this perpetual cycle. Like they're always trying to lose weight. You know, they're always feeling guilty. Every time they put any sort of dessert or treat in their mouth, they feel guilty about it. They feel like they shouldn't be doing it because they've never hit their goal. They just constantly feel like they're not accomplishing the physique that they want. They feel like they're not where they should be. And so anytime they have a cookie, anytime they have cake, anytime they eat some pizza, it just feels guilty. And they're in this constant, almost like state of failed dieting. And when you get this under control, you just start to understand that this piece of pizza doesn't really matter. I mean, even if I'm going to gain fat during the holidays, I don't care. I mean, for me, it's really not that big of a deal anyway. Like, it's not like, oh my God, I never get to eat this food and so I just binge or anything like that. Maybe when I was a lot younger, that would be the case. But now I barely even gain weight, maybe a pound or two. But even the times when I have gained more than that, you know, maybe I go on a cruise and I gain five pounds or I have go through a holiday season and it's three or four pounds, it just doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, a lot of people, they, they might not even understand that there are fluctuations in weight on a daily basis and throughout the day, they might think, oh my God, how was I 150 this day and then I was 152, oh my God, I've gained two pounds. And obviously, you know, a lot of people watching this and myself, we know that that's probably just water, short-term fluctuations. But even beyond that, even if it was really fat, I just don't care at this point. And it's not that I don't care about my physique, of course I do. It's just knowing how simple it is to lose that. And I'm not saying it's always easy, but it is a simple process. I can say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna lighten up for November and December and I'm just kinda gonna eat what I want and maybe I'll gain a couple pounds of fat. But when I decide to tighten up, it's so easy that in one, two weeks, at most maybe a month, I can just decide to lose that fat if I want to. Obviously, a lot of us incorporate that into bulking and cutting cycles. A lot of us are gonna be eating a lot more when we're trying to gain weight to the point that some people really don't want any of that food at all, even the good tasting food. And when cutting, that's you know a little bit harder, of course, because you're gonna to have to deal with that hunger and more cravings, things like that. And you don't want the holidays to turn into a binge fest or an excuse to binge. And so you do have to watch that. But it was just something that I kind of wanted to mention because it was something I observed when I was younger, just noticing that the average person just always feels this guilt associated anytime they have those typical junk foods. And, and for me, it's just, you know, I usually don't eat them, but when I do, it's just completely enjoyable. There's no guilt associated with it. It's not about if I deserve to be able to or not. It's just, this is what I want. This is what I can eat now. And then another time I can just go back to eating healthier. And it, there is, like I said, there is that kind of liberation that goes with that. Now, for those of you watching this who might be newer to the channel or newer to fitness, you might think that you're not at that point yet. You might think, wait, I do still feel guilty when I have those junk foods or those typically considered less healthy foods. In which case, I would say that you should get to a point that you are tracking foods and understanding that it's not just about this one food or this one day. I mean, even if you were to really overeat one day, right, and maybe your daily expenditure total comes out to be about 3,000, so that's your maintenance, even if you eat 5,000, 6,000 calories, you know, you're going to have increased thermic effect of food. You're probably going to move around a lot. At the end of the day, you're maybe getting one to 2,000 calories extra on that one day. And then if you're not really completely tight with your calories the other days, you might find that you're just not as hungry. You might not eat as much following up. I mean, that's a reason why you have a lot of people who feel like they can eat anything and not gain weight is because they do eat a ton of food in one sitting and then they're not hungry the rest of the day or they don't notice that the rest of the week they're not eating that much. So they have these kind of splurges followed by periods where they're just barely eating. Whereas somebody else, you know, maybe somebody who has an issue with that, with gaining weight, they might eat a lot on the day and then continue eating and then continue eating. So I don't want to dismiss the fact that 
things can get out of control. I don't want people to think that habits aren't important. They absolutely are. Uh, I just kind of wanted to emphasize that when you've been doing this for a long time, it is nice that you can kind of get to a point where there just isn't that stress there. And if you're still at a point where there is a lot of that stress, if it's something that you haven't overcome yet, then I would focus for a period of time, whether that's years for some people or months, you know, whatever it is for you to understand calories, understand food portions, understand that you can and you have the power to manipulate that, okay? You can decide to eat a lot more this one day and then just cut it back as long as you're not getting into kind of like a binge purge cycle or, you know, binge and, and then just basically starving yourself. And you can kind of have that empowerment to know that food is not just for energy. It's not, you know, some people want to be like robots and say, I just have food for energy and it's not about enjoyment and other people, they make food their entire enjoyment, you know, which I don't think is good either. But to be able to understand that it's something that can enhance my experiences, but it's not something I need to have a good time is, is just kind of a good place to get to. And for me, it probably wasn't until many years into this that I really kind of felt that way where it was, man, I wasn't just looking forward to this event because I was gonna eat a ton of food, but I could also enjoy this event because I'm not just gonna starve myself or just stick to my chicken and rice for that meal. So like I said, guys, pretty short video today. I just kind of wanted to put that concept out there, that idea, because there is a misconception in a lot of the general population that we just aren't enjoying life or that we're always so strict. But for me, I feel like I'm able to enjoy life a lot more in certain circumstances because I can not have that guilt when I'm going out and enjoying certain foods, where some people just seem to live in this chronic state of guilt anytime they enjoy their food. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you are struggling with anything like this, you still have that bad mindset, feel free to post questions down below and I'll try to get to everything.